Kids Crew families, I'm Leanne and I'm happy to be with you today. You know, the other day my sisters gave me these packets and they have really pretty pictures on them, but I don't know what's inside. I'll open them at the end of our time together so that way we can all see what's on the inside. Today, we are going to be talking about plants. Woo! Do you guys know what plants need in order to grow? They need sunshine, water, and soil. And today, we're going to be really focusing on the soil when we listen to Jesus tell us about the parable of the farmer and the seeds. And later on, we're going to get to watch a farmer plant his seeds, and I want you guys to pay attention to the four different types of soil he uses and what happens to the seeds. Are you guys ready? Let's go, let's stand up for worship. Hello, Kids Crew Gang. It's so great to see all of you. And more importantly, God is so happy that you're here to sing to Him. Did you know that you can share things straight to God Himself? Many times we do it through praying, but sometimes for me, I've had just a long, lonely day. Or I just want to tell Jesus that I need help, especially in times like these. The next song, is asking God that even though I may feel sad or lonely, He would remind me that we are very special to Him, way beyond the blues of our lives. So let's have some fun. Riley is gonna help us with some motions. Let's sing. Hey everyone, hope you're still on your feet because we're gonna be doing a kids talk, or what I like to call a talk. talk. All right, so I'm gonna teach you guys some dance moves just like this one, ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey Uncle Todd. Oh, is that okay if you just stick to the games? I think we can handle the dancing. Thanks. Okay, I guess we'll leave the dancing to the pros, but that's okay, I'm excited to play a game with you guys. Are you guys excited to play a game? Let me hear it. Yeah, we're excited. All right, awesome, I love the energy. Okay, we're gonna be playing a new game. Let me get my handy game bowl. Let's see. We're gonna be playing... Read my face. <laughs> what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be silently saying some of these words in this bowl, and you guys have to read my face, read my facial expressions, and then yell it out. Let me know what you think I'm saying. 
All right, you guys ready for the first one? Give me a thumbs up. Awesome, let's do this. All right, first one. Okay. Say it one more time. Ready? I think I heard one person say it. Let me hear, let me hear one more person. I know this was a long one. Nice, there you go. Scattering the seeds. Scattering the seeds. All right, let's see if you can get number two. This one, all right, this one's a little easier. You guys can do this. All right, number two. more time? All right. Not, not glow. Oh, I, I think you said it. Yes, exactly. Grow. The word was grow. All right, let's continue. Third one. Okay. I heard someone get that really fast. All right, one more time, one more time. No, not the moon. No, not a daughter, but exactly. Sun, good job. You guys, you guys are really good at this. So let, let me do a couple more. Okay, it's a little, little bit more tricky, but you can do it. I believe in you, ready? Anybody get it? Let me try one more time. Oh, not, not bad. Oh, exact. good, good what? Good soil, exactly, good soil, perfect. All right, last one, last one. Let's see if you guys can get all these right. All right, so last one. Yeah, you're right, it's a person. Let's... You guys are so good. Farmer, farmer. Hey, great job, guys. Just remember, all of these words, good soil, farmer, scattering the seeds. These are all gonna be things that are gonna be coming up in our Bible story a little bit later on. All right, well, now's the time to get up on your feet. So I need everybody, let's, let's go. Get up on your feet, because we're gonna be moving into some, oh, oh. Kids talk. Whoa! Uncle Todd, you got me again. Hey friends, I'm Riley and welcome to Kids Talk. Today we're gonna learn a piece to We Came to Meet With You. So everyone stand up and make sure you have a lot of space around you. Wait, hey, I see you. Come on, stand up on your feet and join me. So let's get started. So the first part of the song, it's gonna go, no bigger life than growing up in your house. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open both arms and they're gonna go one at a time. It's gonna go, no bigger life. And then you're gonna do muscle arms. You're gonna go, then growing up in your house. Okay, let's try it from the top. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. No bigger life than growing up in your house. Okay, let's move on. So after this, you're gonna do kind of like you're looking for something. So it's gonna go this way. So we discover who we can. And then after this, it's my favorite part. You're gonna pose. You can do whatever pose you want. It could be a bunny or you could do peace or you can do a cross. You can do whatever you want, okay? So that part, the pose is after. The look, the look. Okay, let's try it from the top, connecting the whole thing. Okay, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. No bigger life than growing up in your house where we discover who we can become. Nice, okay, that was a lot, but I think we can move on. So this next part, you're going to push your hands up like you're praising God, you can go up, up, same to the other side, and up, up. This next part goes like this. Throw, throw. You're gonna stomp your foot twice, puh, 
Ta. Okay, so let's start from praising. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Praising with the people going all out. And then it's gonna say, we came to meet with you. But they're gonna say you a lot of times. So for we came to meet, you're gonna run twice. We came to meet, like you're running to meet with God. We came to meet. And then you're gonna point, you, 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 you. And then you're gonna repeat that. We came to meet, but this time, you always have to turn in a circle, but pointing up to God. And you could use either two hands, or you could use one hand. It's gonna go, you, 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 you. You guys are done now. Good job. Okay, let's try it from the top with counts. Five, six, seven, eight. No bigger life than growing up in your house. And look, where we discover who we can become. And praise, praising with the people going all out. Run, run, point, 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 point. And run, run, turn in a circle, oh, oh yeah. Let's try it with music, guys. Five, six, seven, eight. No bigger life we growing up in your house. Get ready, don't look. We discover and who we become. Praising with the people going all run. out. We came to meet with you, 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 Get ready, you, run. you. We came to meet with you, 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 you. All right, awesome, guys. OK, I'm going to bring in my assistants, Jackson and Lucy. Kids Crew family. My name is Darren, and this is Aiden. And this is And welcome to the What's Gonna Happen Lab. All right, let's get our glasses on here. Are you okay? Good job. Okay, so I have some water here, and this water is going to represent God. <laughs> God has been called the living water. Okay, and this balloon that you were trying to blow up. This balloon represents us. So we're gonna draw a little face on this balloon. Okay? There's some eyes and a mouth. Okay? So here's God and here's us. So we're so lucky that God pours his grace into us. Okay, so we're gonna pour some grace into us. We're gonna hook this on here. And then you're going to pour some grace into us, okay? Very good. Okay, let me help you. You're doing great. Okay, we're going to pour. God pours a lot of his grace into us. So we're just going to pour a lot of grace into us, okay? All the grace. That's a lot of grace. Filling up. Okay, that should be good. No water okay, see? time. No, not water but see? time. But nothing's happening yet. Okay? Oh, no. Nothing's happening yet. We have us and we have God. What do you think is going to happen when we connect to God? I don't know. <laughs> okay, do you guys want to? What do you guys think is going to happen when we connect to God? I don't know. Okay, let's I try and connect to God and see. What? All right. Baby. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Uh -uh. And when we connect to God, God grows us. Look, Mommy. When we connect to God, He grows us and He teaches us about Jesus. And He teaches us about how Jesus loves us. Isn't that awesome? Cool. So now every time you think about blowing up a balloon or you see a balloon, you think about God's grace poured into you. And you think about how connecting to God grows you. Yay! Okay. Yay! Well, now it's drawing time. Mommy. So go ahead and grab Mommy. a piece of paper and something to draw with. And take it away, Lori. Hi, guys. Back for another drawing tutorial.
tutorial. So go pull out the paper that Lillian emailed out earlier in this week that looks like this. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't, if you didn't get it, it's okay. You can email the church um, to be added to the kids group parent email list. Mm -hmm. And for today, you can just fold a piece of paper in half and in half again to make four squares on the paper. Mm -hmm. Because today we're going to draw the four different types of soil Jesus talks about in his parable. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's start with the first one. Okay? So for the first one, we're going to draw a line from starting about right here all the way across. All the way across. Just like that. Good. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to start over here and draw kind of like a tear shape. Shape like that. And then we're going to draw the tail like this. Mm -hmm. And his other wing like that. A circle for his eye. And his legs like bent. Bent lines like this. So this is where the seeds fell on the footpath. And the seeds were stepped on and the birds came and ate it. So that's why we're drawing a bird here. So let's draw a seed right about there. Okay, so for the second one, in this open space here that I have, we're gonna draw a big sun. Okay? Okay. So a big circle like this. I'm trying to touch that line there and hopefully match it on the other side. Okay, so this is the hot sun. And this is where the seeds fell on the rocky soil. So we're going to draw a rocky soil. We'll start about the same height as the other one. And we're, but we're going to stop about right there. And go all the way across. Good. And we're going to draw kind of a big rock in the forefront like that. Okay, I'm going to draw another rock like over here. Why is there so many rocks? Because this is the rocky soil. This is where the soil was shallow, and it, and the um, the seeds that got planted, they grew, but they quickly died because of the hot sun. And they wilted. Okay, so let's draw a wilted little plant here. So we're gonna go zigzag like this. Ooh, okay, good. And then from this point, we're gonna zigzag like this. Okay. Yeah, that's how I did that. Yep. We're gonna do another one up here. Zigzag like that. And like this. Oh, no. That's gonna be our little wilted plant. Here again, we're gonna draw a line across for the soil. Okay. And this, we're gonna draw some thorns here. So this is where the seeds fell among the thorns. Um, and they grew, but were choked by them. So they're choked by the thorns. Ready? Let's draw thorns here. So we're gonna draw a shape, like a curvy shape like that. And then we're gonna connect that one and make the thorn stem like that. Good. We're gonna do another one like this, another curvy shape and follow it back. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the crop that kinda got choked out by the poor the thorns. Draw a line up. And then the plant we're gonna draw little loopy shapes like this on the end. So two on the top. Okay, and then we're gonna do a few more, like one, two, three, maybe four. So five total on each side. Oh, good. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. And for the last one, we're gonna draw a line from here across, just like the other ones. So this is where the plants, the seeds were planted in fertile soil, and um, they were able to produce a hundred times as much as they had um, been, that, that had been planted. So let's draw three lines like this. These are going to be the good crops. Okay. 
And we're going to draw kind of the same one over here. I'm going to start with the top ones of all of them first. Okay, and so we did our final um, type of soil. And this one is the seeds that were planted in fertile soil where the seeds produce a hundred times as much as had been planted. Good job, let's color. can take deep root in our hearts and we can grow to know Jesus better every day. Thanks for drawing with us. Bye. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. Hey -o! Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah? Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. You know, Kids Crew families, it might surprise you to know that I wasn't always a Christian. I remember when I was in college, someone gave me a Bible and told me to read the book of John. I read a few paragraphs and put the Bible down and said it didn't make sense and it was gibberish. That's an example of a seed that falls on the path. 
You see, the seed is the Word of God, which in my case was the Bible. The path was how I would respond, and my heart was hard like the path, and I would not let the Word of God penetrate my heart. You might know people like that, who just don't want to hear about Jesus. They have many reasons for not believing in Jesus, and they don't want to have anything to do with Him. I have a friend who brought me to this church. She was on fire. She loved the messages. She served in ministries. She loved this church so much that her love was contagious. I came because I wanted to know why she loved it so much here. She introduced me to her friends. We served in ministries together. Then one day she had a quarrel with someone. She stopped coming. That was years ago. Even though I would invite her, she wouldn't come back. Maybe her seed had fallen on shallow and stony soil and grew into a plant, but the sun scorched it and it died. I know a young boy who went to a Christian school from kindergarten to sixth grade. He received Christian education and heard the Word of God. But from seventh grade on, he went to public school. He wasn't going to church, so the Word of God got pushed out, choked by all the stuff that middle schoolers and high schoolers go through. I'm not knocking public schools. I myself went to public schools, and my career was in public schools. But for this young man, he no longer had the lifeline to Jesus, and he got distracted by sports and girls and jobs and getting nice things. All of this had crowded out the early Christian teaching he had received, and he was no longer interested in Jesus. This is like the seed that falls among the thorns and the weeds. They hear about Jesus, but the things of this life crowd out the things of God's kingdom. Here in Kids Crew, we plant the seed, the Word of God, into each one of you. We are like the farmer, and you are the soil. We pray that your soil is deep and soft and fertile. We pray that your soil will take deep roots and grow strong. We pray that God will grow you. Our Bible verse today comes from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In other words, grow to know Jesus better and better. Knowing Jesus will be the only way that you can stand against sin or Satan or the ways of this world. So grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that I know you. Show me how I can know you better every day. I pray that the roots of my faith will grow deeper and deeper as I come to know you better and better. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's all stand tall and grow and worship together. What an amazing story! Just makes me feel like I need to set my roots deep into the Bible so I can start bearing more fruit for Jesus. <gasps> Whoa, here's my Bible! Let's go deep into the Bible! Transform! Whoa! Look at our growth, just in time for our next song. Here we go. Oh.
My feet are standing and my roots are planted in the grace I'm given by you, Lord. Whoa. My hands are reaching as your spirit teaches me to keep on, keep on growing in you, Lord. these pretty packets? Let's see what's inside. I wonder what it could be. <gasps> They're seeds! They remind me of the parable of the farmer and the seeds. So, if these seeds land on the sidewalk, people will step on them so they won't grow. If they land in the rocky soil, then they might sprout a little bit, but when the hot sun comes out, they'll die. And if they land in the thorns and the weeds, they'll choke and they'll die. Only the seeds that are planted in the soft, rich soil will grow deep roots, so that way they can produce more seeds. And by God's grace, we have been planted in the soft, rich soil. When we stay connected to God, He grows us. And when He grows us, our knowledge in Jesus Christ grows and our faith grows stronger and stronger. We can stay connected to God by praying, reading our Bible, or singing worship songs. Let's pray together now. Dear God, thank you for showing your grace upon me. Thank you for growing me each day to know Jesus better and better. I pray that I can continue to grow in my faith. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, I wanna challenge you to stay connected with God each and every day this week by praying and reading your Bible. Have a great week. Bye. 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 Oh, bro. Don't eat. Bro, would you keep the truth? See you next week. Woohoo. <laughs> hmm. If we need sunshine, water, and soil to grow plants, I wonder if we can grow other things. I have my soil. Put this in here get my water and we'll give him some sunshine. Whoa! Look at that! That's crazy!